Why this attack on traditional marriage? Well, I think ultimately, I think the government wants to, to control everything. And that is the, um, I think that's, that's ultimately what's responsible for all of this. The government thinks they know better. And what better way to control than to tear down the family unit? And I think that's what we've seen here. I mean, look at the attacks on, uh, on men in, in America. I mean, it's uh, the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary has an institute on biblical manhood. You know, this idea that, uh, that, that men are not allowed to be, you know, strong leaders. You know, it's, I mean, men are under attack in the country. Uh, women are, are being told, you don't, um, you know, you're a lesser of a person if you stay stay home and, mm -hmm. and, and raise your children, you know, and, and, uh, and, and take care of your home, you know, that, that there's something wrong with you. You deserve more than that. Well, you know what? God, you know, who are, I've always found these people, you know, the, the so-called, you know, the, uh, the, you know, these liberators, you know, the, uh, the, the feminist, who are they to decide what a woman should or should not do? You know, they're the ones putting, uh, they're the ones putting, you know, limitations on, on, on on, um, on that, how women are supposed to li live their lives. So I think that we, again, have seen systematically over the past several decades these attacks on traditional gender roles and responsibilities, and uh, the government is stepping in. That's why you have the government, Mrs. Obama right now, spending millions of our tax dollars trying to tell us what we should, should and should not eat. What responsibility is that of the federal government to determine if I want a cheeseburger or a nutter butter? It's not. <laughs> it's not, exactly. It is absolutely not. So The land of the free and the home of the brave. That's right, exactly. So now they're saying, well, you don't need a, you know, uh, you don't really need a, a mom and a dad. You know, you could have two mommies or two daddies, or you could have, uh, you could have a mommy and a daddy who used to be a mommy, but now is daddy, you know, thanks to gender reassignment surgery. I mean, it's very confusing to the average person. Mm -hmm. I'm very confused. <laughs>